featuring all your favorite fighters right here on fightertips.com. Learn from the pros on fightertips.com. I'm AJ Amasi. I'm Amy Sue Cooper. And you're watching Fighter Tips, the show. The show. <laughs> Hi, I'm AJ. I'm Amy. And you're watching FighterTips.com. We're sitting here with Sean Gutridge, where we want to interview him, ask him some questions. He's a pretty well-known um, AM. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, he beats on people. He beats on people. He kicks the shit out of them. Hi, I'm Amy. Are we starting? Hi, I'm Amy. And you're watching fightertips.com. You have to say your name. Oh, I went first. I thought they were just Okay, you go first. Pulling. Never mind. Okay. Throw it over. Hi, I'm AJ. I'm Amy. And you're watching fightertips.com. We're sitting here with Sean Gutridge. He's a professional AMA fighter. Um, and I'm never gonna get that right. <laughs> how'd you get uh, How'd you get started in fighting? In fighting, um, pretty much straight out of the womb. Originally, I'm from Washington D.C. Uh, I wrestled at Virginia Tech for four years. Um, came out to Hollywood to fight uh, and to be around, um, you know, good-looking people. And I ended up. Uh, <laughs> at Legends Gym in Hollywood, and um, the rest is history. I've just been training every day. How'd you get that black eye? Um, story. Well, to you know, celebrate St. Patrick's Day in, in proper tradition, um, I went to Saddle Ranch on Sunset Boulevard <laughs> with some friends. Um, not looking for a fight. I left Saddle Ranch with a few girls I was talking to, and I was waiting for a cab, and it turned out, I guess, you know, there's four guys that, that came up, and I guess one of the guys, you know, I was talking to his girlfriend, maybe. Ah. And, um, and he decided that he wanted to uh, push me. What are you this is the, this about is the bitch? one guy, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't look for fights when I go out, you know, I, I just like to have a good time. Why are you talking to my woman? <laughs> I had no idea that was his woman. I do not like to fight, you know, in public and stuff. That's not my, my thing. I keep it in the ring. I end up, you know, kind of pushing him back lightly. He threw a punch. I duck under. Um, I hit basically exactly what I showed you guys earlier, a uh, high crotch to a double. So I was like, ooh, oh. down, up. Oh, oh, Picked him up like that. I, I proceeded to rotate <laughs> and then place on the curb. Took him down, had my knee on his chest, and just started pounding him on the middle of uh, Sunset Boulevard at 2 in the morning. Didn't want to punch, but you know, self-defense wise, I was punching. How do you get that out? Well, I, this person didn't touch me really at all. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like all his friends and even like the, one of the chicks I was talking to just jumped me from behind. And um, one guy like hit me in the face, I didn't see it coming, kind of gave me a little nice shiner. One chick like had high heels on, started uh, the stomping on my oh back, my <laughs> and then all of a sudden uh, I find out that TMZ was filming the entire thing, and it might be on YouTube. So for all you viewers out there, you know, please do not go on YouTube searching for it. <laughs> so Sean, why don't you tell everybody um, that's watching, just tell us about some of the fighters um, that influence you. Like, well, actually, like I'm influenced pretty much by you know every fighter that I watch. I kind of try to pick apart. Um, you know, good things that I see in their lifestyle and fighting that I can, you know, use for myself. Um, Sakuraba had, like, a lot of innovative uh, styles of fighting. Uh, Marco Rujas was really uh, good with his tie boxing and kicks. Um, even, you know, there's a fight with Mark Schultz where he fights Big Daddy Goodrich uh, with, a, like, a day or two's notice, and he destroys him just purely off wrestling. Um, right now, I think that George St. Pierre is a really big inspiration of mine. Uh, just because he seems so dedicated to the sport, you know, he's training every day, and, uh, and I try to emulate that. Mm -hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? Not currently. No, I had to. Uh, I had to break up with the the old girlfriend after the move, unfortunately. But um. Well, for for the guys back home, what's some good pickup lines? Like, what do you use? Like, what's your go-to line? You know, typically I'm not one for pickup lines. Uh, I usually just try to be myself. Um, but after a few drinks, 
Um, I guess I'm a, a walking cliche for pickup lines. Usually, I mean, it's just a matter of you know asking whether they like a shot of tequila or Jameson. That's pretty much the extent of it. And usually, it turns out pretty decent after one of the answers are answered. Tips from all your favorite fighters, right here on FighterTips.com. I didn't know when to point. <laughs> when did you, you know what? Right, right here. Right here. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.